That's the sound of someone in crisis, sending a text message that could read, I'm afraid to go to class because I'll be bullied. Or, I don't want to cut myself. Can you help? Within five minutes, a trained counselor will respond. Hi, my name is Sara. It sounds like you have a lot on your mind today. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what's going on? Crisis Text Line, or CTL, is the first national 24-7 intervention hotline exclusively by text messaging. It offers anonymity, and it's as easy as 741741. Just ask crisis counselor Sara Lukian. You could be bullied at school and just text between the classes or waiting at the bus stop. You can text from behind a closed door when you're maybe hiding or taking refuge from an abusive partner or relative, and nobody knows that you're doing it. Did another one just fling? Yes. So I'm going to accept this texter. Once a counselor at a traditional suicide hotline, Sarah now volunteers for CTL. Today, she's logged in at home for her four-hour shift. What was the biggest difference that you noticed from talking to people, hearing their voice, and texting with them? Teens are so honest via text. They will cut right to the heart of what's bothering them. So that's somebody joining the queue. So how long have you been in the space now? Crisis Text Line is the brainchild of entrepreneur Nancy Lublin. Launched in 2013, while at the helm of DoSomething.org, the largest online youth organization, Lublin received a text message from a girl that stopped her in her tracks. She texted us saying that she was being raped by her father. Mm. And we thought, we can't just send her a phone number. We did, we sent her a hotline. But we realized that it was so much deeper. If you're gonna share something that personal, that intimate, that horrific with strangers, there was a need for a text line. That text inspired CTL. Now, 40,000 text messages, the majority from teenagers, are exchanged each day with crisis counselors around the country. That's more than 11 million messages since it started. So in a way, you're growing faster than Facebook. We spread geographically faster than they did when they first launched. We launched quietly in Chicago and El Paso. And in four months, we were in every area code in the United States. I just heard back from the texter. Sounds like she's having some turmoil at home. A lot of fighting in the house, not a lot of sleep. So what will you ask her to check? The first thing I would want to know is if she's feeling suicidal. We like to do risk assessment as early in the conversation as possible. So I'm just going to respond. If the pills are right there in front of them, then we trigger what's called an active rescue. So most of the time they tell us where they are, and then while the counselor is texting them, a supervisor, who are paid master level degree people on our staff, triggers the active rescue, calls 911, and gets a police or EMT to go to that person. According to the CDC, suicide is the second leading cause of death for young people between the ages of 10 and 24. It resulted in approximately 5,500 lives lost last year. In 2013, 17% of high school students in the United States considered suicide, 14% had a suicide plan, and 8% attempted suicide one or more times. Bob Philbin is CTL's chief data scientist. Crisis by day, crisis overtime, crisis by state. He compiles all the confidential text messages that stream in to create a real-time map of crises in America. We thought when we started Crisis Text Line that bullying was going to be one of the primary issues. Instead, what we're seeing is the top issues are depression, suicidal thoughts, self-harm. What he's discovered, suicidal thoughts are more prevalent on Sundays. Arkansas is ranked number one for eating disorders, and substance abuse peaks at 7 a.m. Remember the young person Sara was texting with earlier? She's not considering suicide, and she's just written that she actually has to go to class. Mm -hmm. So the way I'm going to end this conversation is just to say, again, I'm glad that you texted in. Remember that we're here 24-7 if you're in crisis. For WebMD, I'm Soledad O'Brien.